Okay, just now waiting for the half on S2 bus up to Payne Pass. I think this Louis change so now goes on to Betts Court, but I won't be going that far because I want to go down to Burn Gary, so I need to change at that point. Um, also on just behind me is the Clambers Lake Way. Um, I haven't gone there today, but I can do it this time. Like, Use one of the usual suites into cranberries. Okay. <clears throat> um, one thing, just as the bus was leaving, um, there was another passenger, maybe a bit late. The bus driver obviously spotted him, so I didn't I turned around immediately, like before we left. Instead of doing left turn coming out of the bus bay, a, he did a right turn and then went back in to pick up that passenger, which was nice of the driver. Uh, other drivers probably in Dublin, I find some. Probably which has left him there. Um, also, one thing as you're coming up from Clamber side up to Penny Pass is you don't notice the height you're going up. That's the valley. The bottom of the valley is kind of a slope up with the rows and that. So you don't get that sense of depth. Until you look out this side, just behind me, which I'll show you in a minute. So if you look behind me, you just get that sense of depth. Now I have to transfer onto the S4. I'll have to check my own timetable. See, so also I'm hoping to get a shot of it coming up the road. Also, sorry, I think these most of the people were on the S2 were first silly. And didn't have any road checks. It brings people up here for walking. Um, also, on that, so you like me, can't be used as a going down to the upside, like you can get to Esco. Um, actually, I just noticed there's the S1 bus as well, which actually comes straight up, up to here from Clan Bears and back. I think the ST used to do that. But that seems to have changed. The S2 is now going on to Betts Card and taking that stuff. So there's these from Clambears, there's a big, free, very frequent service for getting up here. Um, the S6 that he's got from Betts Card to here has disappeared, as far as I can see. Like they just put it as the S2, which is probably better than that. Especially it's a short distance from Hamburg. Um, just if you want to go down to the lower part of the valley, there's a path 
towards Ben Gang and that's maybe fifth place, which is at the entrance to the car park side where it says staff cars. Um, also, there's a thing up here, um, just on the opposite side of the car park side. There's actually a hostel where you can stay in that if you're interested. Especially maybe you could be doing a walk alone. It's not going, might be part of your course, might stay out for the night here. And that. Um, also, one of the thing about Canberra's, I forgot to mention, um, I see passing part after the Snowdown and Mount Mary. On the opposite side, there's actually a power station in Canberra's hydroelectric, which is hidden inside the mountain. So, which we know it's there, unless you knew about it. You could see some of the entrance points in that, and if you just to or building outside, and that's the only thing they'll tell. You can't see the big journeys and that since they are underground. Um, if you want more information about Clambers Power Station, you can also do a tour of it. It's one way. <laughs> I mean, if you're ever over in Clambers, let's remind them. Also, the first centre is they have a temporary one. They must be reading the main building in that, which is why it's got uh, hoarding around it. But also, if you want to find more information about actually coming to Columbus, Tom Scott actually has a video on it. So that can give you a bit more detail about the whole operation. But also, the tour is quite interesting. You get taken by a bus. I mean, they give you helmets just to be on the safe side. But it's quite interesting that. And I would work recommend this. I've done it a few times myself. to the village of Bangarok and then walk back using kind of paths and back road kind of mixture where it's quite a nice and it's a nice walk as well okay just got the bus at Bangarok the S4 I think that one now becomes the S97 and then there's an bus that comes to the S4 if you're going on to Canavan from here. 
Oh, that's the chain. Do we put that? No, it's definitely it was on the chain table. Yeah, so that's why. Um, I've just crossed over the river. I'm now heading to Shanghai Copper Copper Mine. And also, when back on it during summer holidays, it can become quite busy. A lot of people here. As I noticed in 2003, when I first came, it's quite a proper place. They have nice shops in there. Um, also, you can get a train from Tanavan to Park Magic, the Roach Island, Wherry, which has a station here so you can get off. Or you can do it in sections. You have to do the whole team. So it's kind of nice. Hi guys, right, just at Shanghai Copper of Mines, pay my entrance fee, got the hammers. Um, self guided tour. And that. Um, I can also feel the coolness coming out before I even enter. Um, it costs £10 for adults, so I'm not sure what kids are, but it's cheaper. Um, also, I noticed a discount if you're living local, if you're a local person living here. Um, but you need to be proof of your address. So, if you're living local, why not come and explore attractions on your doorstep, like this mine? So, I'm just going to grab my helmet and head on in. Also, once there's that self guide, they have buttons that give you commentary, they press yourself. There's no actual guide. And also, you have to be careful. Just when you think it's high enough to stand, you hit a log pad. Especially, I think it might have been missing coming into this section. I've stunned you. But also, I kept it low down because I know if I stand in the main passing coming in. Oh, it's a hitting, actually, it's hitting the roof. It's leaning a bit forward. Um, so, yeah, that's why that gives you the hands just in case. Also, sometimes it's a bad idea. In the main passage, you know, last time, I see my head so much, my neck is starting to creep. First, it looks good, so you have to be careful. That's why I kept it more than this time. Um, also, the way this build is mine, you, as you travel up, you're going back in time since the staff in the top working down. A lot of working tiers you will find out if you do come off the lizards, so you can visit those. This is the lowest level, which is still not for lizards as much, and at least they kept it warm back. To keep any water here from getting in, flooding this part kind of passage to me. Of course, once you start moving up levels, it's quite tiny, all the steps you have to climb. So, if you're not figure of steps, I'll do that. Maybe you shouldn't really come here. Except you could do the bottom level and then go back out the way you came. I think that's also recommended for wheelchair users, people that won't be able to climb. Steps as it's just. Okay, the mine's caught sudden. Okay. Yes, that's how it kind of fell. Um, also, it turns out I was going alone in the mine. There were people ahead of me. But it's a saw one person exiting that as I was going. And there was a plaque, obviously, oh, information board must be reading. Also, they have cameras maybe taking more footage on the ground. Right. Um, also, I noticed a lot of the houses have the same, well, at least on, as part of the name, have the same name kind of thing. Um, oh, what I was going to say is other house names, a lot of them have the name of the mine as part of the name. 
So obviously this is quite, it's probably no nigh by that, nigh. Also apart from the mine too, here, they also have things for kids. I think a Banks Castle in the semi. It's kind of down in the places. Playgrounds. And they also have paying for food skulls here. Kids want to have a go. Kind of funny. Um, not forgetting this gift shop, slide machine, and coffee shop. Also, you don't have to you can come to the coffee shop without having to go down to mine during that. They welcome non mine customers as well. Okay, um, just waiting for the S97 to take me to Bar Magic, the final bus of the day. Um, I just had dinner here. So it's just straight to the guest house when I'm staying in Palm Um Also, I should be here in the next few minutes. At least I can see it coming from across the bridge. I've got a few in that direction. So I'm having pop magic, it's only a person on the entire S97 bus. Um, probably the earlier ones probably have a bit more people we know here. I know when I was getting off the S4 in Van Garrick earlier, the people get waiting for the S97. It's just maybe it's not quite summer holidays yet. And probably still Black people around. So m maybe during the summer, more people might use the later one. And maybe a weekend to search as well might possibly bring more people. If, depending if that train five to seven is actually. Um, also, maybe at weekend, more people go snow in the summer. So that might bring a lot more people. Make more coffee. Uh, but it's also most important. So, throughout these buses, a lot of these communities will be isolated. So, it's kind of important having them. <laughs> 